Um, I would say the worship services have been amazing and the music from all over the world is um, really inspirational and when I'm singing the words I'm thinking yeah this is this is what we're about um, you know working with God um, the Holy Spirit working in us that's encouraging to me to to be able to hear all these voices singing together the same words and um, sometimes I wonder if we they all mean the same thing to us but but we it is inspirational just to hear all the voices lifted up in song and to hear people coming in from um, you know Sweden and Norway and um, from right here in this area but but all over and singing and and um, so usually what happens and people who are watching streaming or something may not know this but um, most of the time the people who are part of the worship service in the morning also then are available to sort of provide a, a lunchtime entertainment so that we can go over and have a meal and and listen to more of the music so if anybody was listening yesterday we had a young man from I'm not sure, one of the countries in Africa, and he sang How Great Thou Art, and it was just amazing. And when I went over to lunch, he was singing again. And that was, that's incredible to me, to, to the mixture of all the different people, and, and the music means something to all of us. Any other stories um, or anything you've witnessed that people haven't seen on the live stream that you want to share? Well, one of the things, I was in um, a legislative committee all last week, and the first day of the legislative committee we had um, one item, one petition, which when I had read through I had marked so harsh, and um, then when it came around to voting on it, we approved it, and I was so disheartened that that day. I was just like, oh. Well, there were three other items really similar to it. They were all basically dealing with um, conducting same-sex weddings in the last day. We were reviewing it, and somebody said, you know, I don't think that's constitutional. We need to refer that to the Judicial Committee. And so we all voted, yep, that sounds reasonable. So yesterday, while we were in the big plenary, the general session, we heard word back that yes, the Judicial Council had looked at these that we had referred, and they had indeed ruled them unconstitutional, which was like, yippee, we're not going to be so harsh, and we're not going to be, you know, such an angry church and having to always punish people. And yet I felt like, Boy, that was a waste of time then, was it? And maybe it wasn't, but it sure felt like we maybe could have been dealing with other things. And today, during um, the general session, somebody made a point of standing up and saying, yesterday you may have heard a lot of noise over in the corner and thought, oh, this was, you know, like celebrating going way too far. And he said, no, they explained to me that's not what they were doing. They were praying for the Holy Spirit to come into this room. And, and that was really good that he took the time to share with us and let us know that because it did feel kind of like, you know, it was this really close vote on something and a lot of people were upset with it and, and it just felt, kind of felt like, why are they being so loud, you know? But so, so there's still room for a lot of trying to understand each other and, and people are making the effort, I think.